us about some of these guys on this list. Well, you know, I look at a guy like DeAndre Jordan on the Clippers, and if you're the Clippers, you may be in a situation where you need to hit the reset button in terms of your player personnel. The Clippers, obviously, in the Western Conference, DeAndre, as great a player as he is, I mean, you got a guy that's averaging almost 14 rebounds a game, 10, 11 points a game, he protects the rim, but he's a one-dimensional player in the Western Conference. That's a tough deal when you're trying to chase the Golden State Warriors. So, once again, you're a team at this point, you're not playing great basketball. Do you look to now move him in an effort to try to reset your personnel to get a little bit more versatile? And relative to the notion of Cleveland acquiring him, because the only teams they're really worried about beating are the Golden State and Houston's of the world, because success is only a championship there. You can't really look to add somebody who doesn't have that kind of versatility on the wing that you spoke to, whereas Tristan Thompson really does. So I think it would shock me if that was something that was ever to come together. Yeah, well, one of the other teams, because you're, basically you're saying Tristan Thompson for DeAndre Jordan from Cleveland, not really beneficial for the Cavaliers. Well, I think just if you look at the contract itself, you know, DeAndre has a player option for $24 million next year. If he opts out of that, he's going to be looking to get $35 million. Ooh. <laughs> in, in Cleveland's particular salary situation, Tristan Thompson with his versatility at $17 million, probably a much better fit for their roster. But to the point you made about the way you look at the season as it goes along and it's, things start to settle out, the best situation for us in a front office is that there is a real stratification between the top and the bottom. Because the more teams that there are that believe they're fighting for a playoff spot, there's actually fewer sellers and so Denver is a great example of that they're a very good young team right now so they're not going to just be getting rid of veteran pieces that help them win basketball games